so we saw that in case of a young's double slit experiment if we insert a glass prism in front of the first slit what happens is that the path difference x1 increases so the net path difference x2 minus x1 decreases by this amount okay because because of this introduction of the glass slab there is a delay of this light wave and this delay results in an increase in the path distance x1 which is equivalent to shifting this s1 to s1 dash so finally what happens is this path difference decreases so you know that for constructive interference this should be equal to k lambda if we put k equals to 0 we see that the first maxima occurs at a distance of this distance so you see that my first ma maxima without this glass slab was occurring at x equals to 0 now the first maxima has shifted to this position so the whole interference pattern has shifted upwards by this amount because this was the first maxima the second maxima will be equal to the point where the first maxima occurred without the YDAC setup plus this amount of distance so the whole interference has shifted upward now to back uh, to make this interference pattern shift to the original position what we have to do is we have to insert a glass slab with let's say mu1 t1 where mu1 is the refractive index t1 is the thickness and we have seen that this should be is the case if we want to bring the interference pattern back from this we'll get the thickness as mu minus 1 t by mu1 minus 1 okay now what happens if instead of this we have a glass slab here what happens then what happens if we have a glass slab here in that case what will happen is this path distance was larger than this path distance now because of this introduction of glass slab here there is a delay in this path distance and that delay is equivalent to shifting this s2 to this position s2 dash so the net path difference is x2 minus x1 is xd my xd my, by d because of the original path distance plus this delay is adding to the path difference of x2 okay so the net path difference is x2 is now this plus this because this is delaying the time taken by this wave so it is adding to the delay minus x1 remains same okay so this is the net path difference so now what will happen is if i put my first case of constructive interference that is k is equal to 0 then I'll get the first maxima at x equals to minus mu minus 1 t d by d so you see that the interference pattern now has shifted downwards in this direction so when I introduce a glass slab on the lower glass slit then the lower slit then what happens is the whole interference shifts downward now to make the interference pattern shift back to its original position what i have to do is that i have to introduce a glass slab here also and the condition for the thickness of this glass slab remains the same which we had discussed okay now let's say that till now we had discussed all the setups in vacuum this setup was in vacuum the lloyd's mirror was in vacuum the fresnel's double mirror was also in vacuum now let's say that this setup the young's double slit experiment is kept in some medium with refractive index mu naught and let's say that all the setups now i'm considering with respect to some me medium of refractive index mu naught let's say that the medium is let's say water with refractive index mu naught now you tell me that what will be the effect of shifting the setup to water with respect to the fringe width how will the fringe width change when the setup is transferred in water in case of YDSE total width in Lloyd single mirror number of fringes in Fresnel's double mirror
and now in this setup that is when the setup is in water let say i introduce a glass slab in front of the first slit now you tell me what what will be the thickness of the second slab which needs to be introduced on the first slit of refractive index mu2 to get the interference back pattern back to the original position so what is the thickness of the second glass slit which glass slab which needs to be introduced given the fact that the first glass slab has a refractive index mu1 and a thickness t1 so in my setup this is my setup i have already introduced a glass slab of mu1 t1 this whole setup is in water of refractive index mu0 so what is the thickness of the second glass slab mu2 t2 i need to introduce to get this interference pattern back to its original position so these are my four questions and i want you to answer these four questions so if you have got your concept correct you will be able to solve all the four questions very easily so assuming that you have tried on your own let's see what's the effect of shifting the pa shifting the setup in water with respect to these four points the first one is the fringe width in young's double slit experiment the fringe width you know is given by lambda d by d okay this d and this small d are geometrical distances so nothing happens when this nothing happens to this two distances when the setup is inserted in water but here we have a lambda 